In this presentation, we are going to discuss part 2 of sensitivity of control system. So, let's get started. In the previous lecture, we discussed the sensitivity of an open loop system. Now, in this presentation, we are going to discuss the sensitivity of a closed loop system with respect to forward path gain GS. We all know in a closed loop system, we have two gains. One is the forward path gain GS and the other one is the feedback path gain HS. So if we talk about the overall transfer function of a closed loop system, then it is T equal to G over 1 plus GH in case of a negative feedback. In control systems, by default, we use negative feedback. Now sensitivity of transfer function T with respect to forward path gain equal to G over T multiplied with del T over del G. In this expression, STG is the sensitivity of transfer function T with respect to G and del T over del G is the derivative of transfer function with respect to G, which is the forward path gain. So we are having the transfer function T equal to G over 1 plus GH and to find out del T over del G, we will differentiate this transfer function with respect to G. And in order to differentiate fractions, we use U by V rule of differentiation, which is V multiplied with derivative of U minus u multiplied with derivative of v over v squared. In this case, u is the numerator function which is equal to g and v is the denominator function which is equal to 1 plus gh. So del t over del g equal, we will treat denominator as constant multiplied with differentiation of numerator function with respect to g which is equal to 1 minus now we will treat numerator as constant multiplied with the differentiation of denominator the differentiation of this function with respect to g will be equal to h so it is equal to h so we are having the numerator as 1 plus gh multiplied with 1 minus gh and it is divided by 1 plus gh whole squared in the numerator plus gh and minus gh will get cancelled and we will get 1 over 1 plus gh whole squared in this way we have calculated del t over del g and now we will put del t over del g in this expression del t over del g is multiplied with g over t we can find out g over t using this expression. We are having t equal to g over 1 plus gh. If we transpose this factor 1 plus gh to the left hand side and this factor t to the right hand side, we will get g over t equal to 1 over 1 plus gh. Substituting these two values, we will get stg equal 1 plus gh, which is the value of g over t multiplied with 1 over 1 plus gh whole squared which is del t over del g. This numerator will be cancelled with one power. So we will have STG equal to one over one plus GH. And this is the expression for sensitivity of overall transfer function with respect to G. Now the values of forward path gain G and the feedback path gain H are always positive. So we can say the product of GH is always positive. And if any positive quantity is added to one, then the resultant will be greater than one. And if the denominator is greater than 1, then we can say this whole fraction is less than 1. And that's why sensitivity of transfer function T with respect to G is always less than 1. And we all know the sensitivity of transfer function T with respect to G is the percentage of change of transfer function with respect to percentage change in forward path gain. And if it is less than 1, we can say percentage change in transfer function T is less than percentage change in G. So if there is a disturbance in forward path gain, it will not affect the overall transfer function. And that's why we can say a closed loop system is less sensitive to the parameter variations in forward path gain. And this is one of the advantages of using negative feedback. So now we are done with the sensitivity with respect to forward path gain GS and we have also derived the expression to find out the sensitivity with respect to forward path gain which is 1 over 1 plus GH. In the next lecture we will discuss the sensitivity with respect to feedback path gain HS. And now we are done with this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.